This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints. Discount prices at MiniatureMarket.com. Hey everybody, we are doing another Rising Sun painting. So what are we working on today? Now, I was going to finish up the other three monsters, but I'm going to try to get all the monsters done and show you how I do a bunch of touch-ups. And that will be the final on the monsters. Um, what I'm trying to do here is do a two-part taped video. Uh, you're going to see this one, which is today, Thursday, where we're just kind of getting one of the monsters ready and the Dragonfly clan getting them all set up. And here they are, and I've got each guy primed here that we're going to be working on. And I primed them all black. Um, and there's a reason for that. It's going to be a lot easier to work with and get these guys where I need them to go. And we're also going to be working... And here. what we're going to do is we're going to be working on this monster right here. It could be a little sensitive for little people, so... Um, it looks like there's a bunch of bodies underneath there. But I'm going to show you how we're going to work on this. We're going to probably get most of this done. Do a couple things on this and then tomorrow you'll see the finish. I'm trying to shorten the videos and make them more where you can follow along easy. So without further ado, let's go down to the table and see how we get these guys, the Dragonfly Clan and uh, Uriel, I guess, I don't know, that monster there. We're, we're going to get working on Okay, so let's we're going to start with this figure right here. And now the skin is very light, so I'm going to use a filleted one flesh. Um, there's a lot of bloody stuff here. I really don't want to put that in there. So what I want to do is I'm going to try to get all the arms and legs and stuff like that and her, uh, her or his arms. And we're just going to try to get that all painted up and then we'll get it going. So I'm going to start and then once I get going here, I'll film some more. Notice what I'm doing here. All I'm doing is picking out the arms, the legs and the feet and some of the other parts. There are tentacles in here which are, are, are kind of hard to pick out but all I'm doing is just getting a little bit of paint on that brush and all I want to do is just hit these and I'm not worried about bleeding over or anything like that because we've got other colors that are going to go in there and we're just going to work on the hands here. We want to get those right and pretty much you see what I'm trying to accomplish here. So now that we have that, we're going to leave it the way it is. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next, next color. thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Screamer Pink. And you can see that I'm painting all the tentacles. Now, it looks stupid right now. But don't worry. I'm going to be able to clean this all up. And you'll see exactly what I'm going to do. This is just a base color underneath. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all our little base colors on. And then just work our way out. And you'll see exactly what we're trying to accomplish. Next thing we're going to take is a bat in black. And what we're going to do with the bat in black is we're going to start filling in the hair on all these victims that are underneath here somehow. As you can see, I've already kind of started doing that. And I'm not worried about being too neat here because we're going to really tighten things up. Right now, we're just trying to get and make sure that we get all the areas. And as you can see, this is what we're trying to do on the bottom of this card. And then, of course, we have to do the hair right here all the way down to such and such point. Just take your time, get a small brush, and just water down your paint a little bit and just work it in there like so. So I'm going to finish this up, and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about more of what okay, we're so going to do. So as you can here. see, I, I pretty much got all that filled in. I was a little messy with it, but it's not a big deal because we're going to touch it up. But we're going to let everything dry really good before we really mess with it. And we're going to take some lead belcher and fill in the chains and stuff like that. We'll do that, and then we will clean this up, and then we'll kind of work some washes in here. And you'll see what we're trying to accomplish with uh, this guy right here. So while we're waiting for this dry, why don't we go work on something else a little bit? All right, so we got Bird Boy here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get these wings all squared away. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a base color of dried bark on there. And we'll take care of that. What we're going to do here is just really kind of smother that on. I'm using a bigger brush just to get that first coat on. And all you're going to want to do is get this on. Don't worry about hitting any of the other areas or anything like that or going over anything. The whole idea is 
to just get that paint in there and this is just a base coat and that's all we want to do is just get this all brown away from that black primer so I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll come back and I'll show you what alright so as you can see I kinda of got this all over this guy a bit but that's okay there are just times when you're gonna to have to paint fine detail and but there's times that you can just kinda of really loosely just let go and do coverage painting it really breaks up a lot of things when if you're really kinda of concentrating on some and then all of a sudden you just need a small little victory and say wow okay good I got a lot of coverage here and that's good and that's uh, the main thing is to get some coverage so we got this here we got them all covered up in that dry and bark and we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna start filling in the details here so according to this card we have right here it's kinda looks like a screamer pink underneath this green which will really work pretty nice so we're going to go with it. So I'm not worried about getting the pink on there and, and on, on all the areas. All I want to do is make sure that I cover uh, some of the areas that are going to show through. And I'm not too worried about how this goes on because I'm going to actually cover this all up. So you just got to bear with this. Uh, it, it does look messy, but I'm doing coverage here and, you know, we're actually just going to make sure that we get that all in there because everything's going to fit in very nicely. So over these pads and in between the, the, the pads, uh, the armor here, we're just making sure. And even though we're bleeding over a little bit, it's not a big deal because we're going to clean all that up with a nice brush. And you'll see what I'm talking about. And it actually helps because it's going to bring that green out a little bit brighter. So... There we go. We're just going to put him right down and let him dry for All right, next of the Dragonfly uh, Clan, we are going to um, take care of this outside color here. And then we're going to build outwards from it because this is a base and we can get it all in. So we're going to use an XV88 for that. And uh, as you can see, we have an XV88. And we're going to take a little... Of that and we're going to work it right in our area here where we have and we're just going to get that wet so we have a uh, nice wet and it'll go on nice and smooth we're not worried about hitting anything else or anything like that we just want to get this on to cover a majority of the areas here of area which is very important if you get it on the blade or on his hands you don't worry about it because you're going to paint over that anyways and it's not going to hurt anything and and that's pretty much all I wanted to do okay because I'm going to be building outwards with that so we'll probably throw another coat on there and take it from there but let's go back to some of so our back here working on this guy and all I'm gonna do is take and use a little lead belcher to color in all the chains that we have hanging out there so I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna come right back Okay, so we filled in the chains here and the chain that leads down here and all these bodies here and now we're going to fill in the uh we're going to use what is called a retribution armor you should know i use a lot of that but it'd be nice with the gold bells and we're going to fill in all the chain or the light chain that'll go around and uh then we'll be ready to highlight okay so all we did was just touch up these gold bells in here and just tighten all that up and we're ready to let this dry fully and then we'll throw a wash on there and then we'll build outwards. Come back to this guy that we were putting the um, the uh, purple on, I mean the, the screamer pink. And we're going to use a army painter's war paint and we're going to use angel green. So we're going to put that over there. I'm going to get it going and then we'll come back. Alright, so we got a nice dark paint here. That's all we want to do is just kind of get this in here. We've got a lot of touching up. There's a lot of detail here. So just getting the base on there, and we're gonna we're gonna run a wash through here tomorrow. So you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, and we'll get this right guy right here. We're just gonna use an administrative uh, gray. We put a little XV88 for his pants. If you look, they're kind of light. I'm gonna just show you real quick. And we're just trying to get the base on here, and we're gonna get the gray in here, and we'll get it in there, and then I'll okay, show see, you. How we just have some basic, very basic paints on there 
just to get an idea and then we're going to work we're going to darken we're going to lighten we're gonna, and we're going to do some washes but we're going to do that tomorrow right now we're just going to we got it right where we want some very basic painting on here for our little hawk guy or whatever he's called for the dragonfly clan so let's go back to the big monster get that kind of squared away we'll be coming back to the dragonfly clan tomorrow but for today let's finish up this guy up real quick and uh, just get the wash on him and then we'll highlight him tomorrow as well alright for our big finish here what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some new oil and as you know that is a nice shade I'm gonna get the big brush for this because it really doesn't matter we can be a little slovenly with it and we really want to get this in and get it all over this figure so we're gonna shake this up a bit we're gonna get some on our brush here like so and maybe just dip in there a little bit and all we're going to do is just really just paint it on there we'll try to get it on there and all I'm trying to do, and you can see what this is doing, is just getting in the recesses. And as you see, it's we've spread it all over, and it's in all those recesses. And if you wanted to, you could just have this the way it is, and it would be perfectly fine. You can see where, when it's drying, it's going to sit in all those recesses, but we're going to take and we're going to build this outward we're going to build it outward and we're going to really bring this monster to life so that's it for today we're going to work really hard on that dragonfly clan tomorrow we're going to highlight this and we're going to be done with the dragonfly clan and this particular monster as you can see we're going to start building outwards i don't want to put all the blood there for me it just i don't you know i just you know i I just uh, it's just not my thing sometimes it fits sometimes I think you know especially on a model it just doesn't work but I think as you can see we are really getting where we really want to be for this particular model all right so that's it tomorrow uh, we will see you let's send it on top and get on out of here all right there you have it that's the easy way to get everything all prepped up we're gonna do part two tomorrow like I said I'm trying to keep these nice and short so people will follow along so you're not sitting there for 20 25 minutes as I'm painting the whole thing and just trying to give you a little bit of the highlights as to doing what we need to do and as you can see we're just getting part one done and tomorrow uh, which will be Friday you'll get to see part two and that'll be the big finish for th those uh, four types of figures so we'll see you tomorrow when we're doing more Rising Sun.